Hello again everyone, it's Becky here and today is my IBS diary week three. So if you liked my previous videos, I hope you like this one. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe and then you'll see all my IBS videos and loads of gluten-free videos and loads of lovely stuff about me on my channel and you'll be informed about it all the time. So this week my IBS hasn't been the greatest. I've really sort of suffered with not being able to go to the toilet very much, which has made me feel really heavy, lethargic and a bit crap. But I guess that's what happens to all of us with IBS at one point or another and we just have to deal with it. I've tried not to let it get me down or anything and I've just continued doing what I do. I didn't feel like I was doing anything wrong. I was continuing to take my Simprove. I was eating all the foods that usually agree with me and I wasn't stressed, so I didn't really get it. And I kept positive because of this because I was like, well, you know, it's got to get better at some point. And fortunately it did. By the middle of the week, I was feeling so much better. I was actually going to the toilet regularly. I don't know what changed or anything. Maybe it was the Simprove. So really, this week hasn't been so bad. It started awfully and that was a right down after last week's sort of success. But as the week's gone on, I'm starting to feel so much better and it's just really good. And hopefully with next week coming up, which is week four, um, and that'll be one month into this improve like journey, hopefully I'll be feeling so, so much better and I'll let you know with a sort of month one update. So I hope your week has been going all right with your IBS and yeah. So I've been to Tesco's and I thought I'd give you a little sort of shopping haul as something a bit different in this uh, IBS diary vlog, as it is a diary of my life. So first things first, handy genius white gluten-free bread, always good. Next up, we have raw king prawns and some chicken thighs because we are gonna be having a delicious homemade paella tonight for dinner. And then, to go in the paella, we need some vegetables, courgettes obviously, because as I mentioned to you before, one of the only vegetables that I can eat. We've got some gluten-free cornflakes from Nestle. Now these are really good value, they're only about $1.99 and they taste really good actually, so got those. Um, didn't buy this, just got this because I like reading the Tesco magazine, highly recommend it. And a bit cheeky here, some Yudi's chocolate chip and toffee flavoured muffins. Now these are for a little experiment, which you might see on my blog soon. So watch this space. Okay, whizzing through now. Another thing for a little experiment and just because me and Mark like eating these. I don't even know if Mark can eat them. You can eat them, can't you? Are they dairy free? Don't know, but pretty good. Um, then we've got a variety of milks. We've got soy light the lovely coconut and almond, which is actually new, really good, really tasty, would highly recommend it. Cheeky little, cheeky little lemon for our paella. These, Podology, Bonoffi Puds, which are so, so good, gluten-free and dairy-free, highly recommend again. And to finish you off, almost, almond milk. And, well, and we've got paella rice, obviously, for the paella. And then we have a little thing of Simprove here because I have lots of Simprove at the moment and Mark doesn't have any and I'm being really selfish and not letting him have any of my Simprove because it's so good and I need it. So he bought himself one. So if you didn't know, you can actually get it in Tesco's as well. So I guess now I'm gonna put all my shopping away because it's gonna go off and I've actually got some frozen stuff behind. I've got some frozen pineapple chunks, which weren't in this because I need to put them away too. Um, so yeah, otherwise it's still gonna go off and I would need to make a paella kind of soon because my belly's kind of rumbling. I'm hungry, see? I'm actually hungry because of Simprove, I think. So yeah, I'll enjoy my paella. See you soon. We're in a herb garden. Well, I don't know, it's a garden and it has herbs in it. And we found some chives, which here you go, you can use them in salads, soups or stir fries. Very nice. And on we go to the sage, to the sage. We can have this and it complements rich meats and cheese. And uh, we just take a little bit here. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. You want to eat it really, but you can't. Um, we have a curry plant here. Don't really know what that is, but it says it's not for culinary use, so... I guess I might not even touch it because maybe it's poisonous, I don't know. Oh, I'll smell it actually. No, it smells really good. Mmm, it smells like curry. Can we have curry for dinner? But you can't eat it. No. I don't really get that. Um, now this is marjoram, which we use in the KFC recipe that we have. That um, smells really um, good. 
Mmm, that's good in pizzas and pasta sauce. I can definitely smell it in a pasta sauce. It definitely smells like pasta sauce. Um, and then one of my very, very, very favourite herbs, rosemary, which is used with lamb, pork or oily fish. My mum always uses it with lamb. We like it with our chips because Honest Burgers has really good um, fries with rosemary on them. So I'm not going to smell it because I've already smelled it and it's so good. And then we have some thyme. It's time to see the thyme, um, which is used in stuffing, sauces and stews. And this I've smelled already as well and that, that smells really good. And then my least favourite of all the... This isn't a herb, this is just a smelly thing. Um, it's lavender, I don't like lavender. I used to have a pillow with lavender in it that used to smell when I was young. I think my grandma got it for me or something. Um, and it's not very nice, but there you have it. This is the herbs of this garden. Beautiful. That's all for week three of my IBS diary. Please give this a big thumbs up and like it if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel, that would mean the world to me and I'll just love you forever. Oh, and the Great British Bake Off returned this week, which is awesome. I've been waiting for it for so long. Did you watch it? Did you enjoy it? Let me know in the comments below. Who is your favourite character or person? I guess they're not characters, they're real people. So who was your favourite? What was your favourite moment? What was your favourite cake? What was your favourite? Mary Berry thing that she said, I don't know. My favourite moment was, well, it was probably the worst moment for one of the contestants, but the woman whose cake just sort of, the mousse just went and the cake got destroyed and it looked like um, something disgusting on a plate. That was probably my favourite moment. I always like it when things go wrong. I hope that's not mean, but it just makes me laugh a bit more. Anyway, let me know in the comments below and see you soon, bye. Hi everyone, it's Becky here again today, and today is day three. I've just put four fingers up. <laughs> That's going in the bloopers. <laughs> oh dear.